What's up, YouTube besties? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and give this video a lovely like and a subscribe, okay? Also, leave a comment down below if anything does resonate in this reading, okay? As you can tell by the title of this video, this is a pick a card reading and what makes you sexy, period. Ah, period, mm. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, yeah. So, pound number one, it's the Amethyst group here. Also, I'm going to give you time to pick which pal you feel most drawn to. Okay, so this is pal number two. This is pal number three, the Celestite. Ow. And then pal number four, the Apothelite. Um, yeah. Okay, and then, so yeah, let's just get into it. Let's get into it, y'all, okay? Pound number one, let's get right into your reading, bestie, and let's see what's making you sexy at this time, okay? Give this video a love you, like, and subscribe if you are new here. Also, leave a comment down below if anything does resonate. And if you want to support me on TikTok, you can too. The link is in the description box below, okay? So let's just get right into it, pound number one, and let's see what's making you sexy right now, Okay. I'm curious. I'm curious what y'all working with. We got Leo energy, Pisces energy. Ow. Archangel Michael. Okay. So I feel like this group here, you're very grounded in who you are. And you know who you are. Like, that's what makes you sexy. And you are somebody that really sets your own course. People may not understand you, but you really set your own course. You do what's best for you. So that's what's making you sexy right now on pound number one. I also feel like you're somebody that's really wise, firm. Mm. I'm getting some earth energy here. So you definitely, mm, yeah, you could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You've got Cancer. We got the four swords here. All right. Rest and rejuvenation. Okay, so some of you definitely take time out for meditation and prayer. You may rest a lot. For some of you, what makes you sexy is how you recover from things okay we have simply love okay and then we have awareness how number one how number one your intuition okay you have a spiritual awareness as well so this makes you sexy the things you know and how conscious you are of your thoughts okay and i do feel like this is definitely a Taurus here because we have teaching and learning and this is higher fit energy. So it says keep an open mind and learn new ideas. So I feel like this is also something that is sexy about you. Like you keep an open mind. You're willing to learn new ideas from other people. That's, yeah, you know, I feel like you stop growing when you stop learning flat out. So yeah, I feel like this group here is always willing to learn, which makes them sexy. And then we have the worst is now behind you. Positive new experiences on the horizon. I thought you are somebody here that really moves forward. And you try to create positive experiences no matter what. And that's what makes you sexy here. I feel like you could be 25, 52, 35, 53. Or you may, you know, be near those ages. I also see life path number six. Oh, we got 46. We got the ace of cups. That was on the floor. Mm. I feel like this group here has a lot of love, okay? Yeah, we got Simply Love here. I feel like something that makes you sexy, pound number two, is your stability. So you're stable, you're grounded. Ow. I feel like you've overcome anxiety and depression in your life, too. Some people see, like I said, yeah, we got recovery here. I feel like how you recover from things that's supposed to keep you down is what makes you sexy here, for sure. April, June, August, July could be significant to some of you. Uh, 25, 35, yeah. You could be wearing a green shirt right now. Or you may like the color green. I do see this. Oh, people love your chest, okay? So you may have nice chest, nice pecs, abs that make you sexy, nice arms. Mm, you're really strong. This person here is strong, okay? And you're just somebody that's on your path, right? You're just doing what's best for you. You're setting your own course. Mm -hmm. I feel like this group here stays out of drama. Like, I feel like you bring a lot of peace to people and people feel calm in your 
energy. Yeah, I pick up April 25th, April 6th, April 10th, ooh, April 8th, okay. Yeah, you just live in a moment. I love this for you, pal number one. And I also feel like you're really wise. You're smart too, or you're like in tune with your intuition and your feelings and things like that. I feel like you're really protected here, pal number one. So yeah, let's see. You may have red hair, blonde hair for some of you. We have brown hair, black hair, 444. Okay, there's a lot of material abundance that surrounds you and that you're manifesting. So it's coming towards you, pound number one, for sure. All right, what's making pound number one here, sexy spirit? Oh, you are a goddess too. I really feel like you're in tune with the moon or you're in tune with other people's feelings. Let's see. What is making my pound number one here, sexy spirit? Stop. Blue eyes. It's just your eyes in general here. Your breasts. Ooh, your collarbone. Oh, how do you say that? Collarbone. So some of these people like your collarbone. Mmm. They want to kiss on your collarbone, girl. Or boy, whoever's watching. You know what I'm saying? And then we have being lovable. So, yeah. What makes you sexy is you're just lovable. People want to love on you. People see you as love. You know, you're just love. That's what it is. Pound number one, y'all so sexy. Beach blonde hair for some of you. Some of you may uh, live in Florida. Some of you may live near water. Um, some of you may have been on a cruise before or this is the future. So you may be planning for a cruise or something. You know what I mean? So what's going on here? Oh, yes, Leo energy coming out here. I told y'all, Leo. New beginnings here are on the horizon for you. Seven of Cups, clarity. I feel like you bring a lot of clarity to people too, okay? This is what makes you sexy. I feel like people want to celebrate you or want to celebrate in your energy. Yeah. You're very connected to your inner child. I feel like you remind people to have fun. You love to have fun here. Some of you may like to party. You may throw good parties. Ow. People want to come to your parties here, boo. You could be a flamboyant energy watching. Take a resonate. Like I said, leave a dozen. Don't, don't. If it don't apply to you, let that shit fly. People find it sexy how you have boundaries too. And how you acknowledge your desires and happiness. Pound number one. Yep. Ten of cups at the bottom of the deck. Family. You're family oriented or people may want to create a family with you. A happy family. They can see that with you. Pound number one. They definitely can see that. Okay, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. We're going to move on to pound number two. If it resonated, leave a comment down below. Also, subscribe. Yeah, don't forget. Hello there, pound number two. Let's get right into your reading. This is what's making you sexy at this time. Go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Okay, let's get into it. Pound number one. What's making you sexy? I did not mean to get aggressive like that. I just feel like there are people that are very passionate about you, pound number Two, I did not mean to say pound number one. I mean pound number two. Okay, but anyway, I feel like pound number one could be watching pound number two too. <laughs> but yeah, what makes you sexy? Pound number two is your your brain, your mind. I feel like pound number two. You're really smart. For the sapiosexuals out there, they love your mind. They want to explore your mind. They want to really like tap in to your mind, get to know your mind. I feel like it's your facial structure, too, that makes you sexy. So that's another good thing. Your teeth, maybe your smile. They're really attracted to your smile for some of you. Um, I feel like you could be a Scorpio or a Leo or you could have that somewhere in your chart. Or there's like a Scorpio, Leo energy that finds you to be very attractive at this time for some of you. We got the moon card. Ooh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You know what? Pound number one definitely got goddess of the moon. And pound number two has moon cycles too. So I definitely feel like pound number one is watching. Okay, you're very much in tune with the moon cycles here, pound number two. People see this. You are a goddess or a god, okay? So this is making you sexy. They see you as a goddess or a god here. Okay, you, you may like to spend a lot of time alone. 
people may notice this. So this is also something that makes you sexy, I guess. Or people are drawn to that about you. You could be a Sagittarius. Sag moon. Virgo moon. All right. Alchemy. Ow. I feel like this group here, pile number two, you really take time out for yourself, for meditation and prayer. So does pile number one. And this is what's making y'all sexy here, okay? Y'all really take care of your mental health. Okay, some of you have strong connection to animals. Okay, you're able to communicate with animals intuitively. Some of you could have had a bird in the past, or like a guinea pig, a rabbit, something like that I'm picking up on. Or a hamster, all right? Yeah, and a lot of people feel like you have the Midas touch right now. So if you are a creator, like you are making shit happen for yourself, people see this. I feel like people feel like there's always chemistry with you. Like everybody got chemistry with you, pound number two. That's how sexy you are. I'm telling you. I feel like you can just vibe with anybody. All right. I also feel like you're able to transmute negative situations into positive. For some of you, you may manifest with the moon. Or you may just re be really in tune with like the lunar eclipse, you know? Let's see. We have confiding in a friend. Ooh. Uh, what makes you sexy is people can confide into you, uh, pal number two. You could be a um, you could be in a relationship right now or people just feel like you would make a good partner. All right. But yeah, you're somebody that people can confide in and people feel comfortable in your energy. This is what makes you sexy. You may like to explore with your hair because I do see two different hair colors. So, yeah, I see black hair, blonde hair, purple hair, black hair, green hair, blonde hair. There's all there's a lot of different hairs here. OK, so whether it's natural or unnatural, you like to explore. OK, we also have strategy. What makes you sexy is you're somebody that is of strategy. I feel like you use a logical mind. Oh, wow. This group here is giving me Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Virgo, very analytical. Okay, some of you here may also be into journaling or you may like to write a lot. You may like to write down your ideas and things like that. So people like this about you, very organized here. I feel like you are a listening ear for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. So this is something that people find to be sexy about you. Always willing to listen. All right, we got the Ten of Wands here. Oh, I was picking up that Sagittarius moon, right? Yes, we got Aries Eagle Sag coming out here. A lot of you here with the Ten of Wands, you're really strong, okay? So this is what makes you sexy. I feel like you can carry a lot, okay? You may be, you may have a lot of responsibilities. You may have a a heavy load to carry, but you're really able to carry it, okay? A lot of you here may be in the military. You could be into bodybuilding. Maybe this was the past, maybe. Some of you could have been into football. Some of you could be construction workers. Some of you may work in a factory, or some of you may work in fast food. Just take it how it resonates. I am picking up Aries Leo Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising. We have Virgo, Cancer, all right? People just see you as somebody that has a nice build, very strong, very resilient, okay? You may have a lot of responsibilities, but you are you are carrying it, okay? Like a warrior, giving and receiving. Ow, what makes you sexy is here, pound number two. You really know giving and receiving, you know? I feel like this group here in the bedroom, you're probably like versatile or something like that, you know what I'm saying? I am picking up june june and march somebody could be 36 watching 21 or near that age 27 or whoever's finding you sexy right now and says age you know what i'm saying um a lot of like i said people feel like there's chemistry with you everybody's your soulmate here pound number two all right people also feel like you can liberate them from the the shackles that once held them back in some kind of way so yeah, people just feel like you can liberate them. Mind, body, soul here. Pal number two, this is crazy. Also, I'm picking up 17. So you may have a connection to 17, August 17th. Yeah, somebody's 35. Or this person is finding you sexy at this age. Okay, we have prosperity. Ooh, you about that money. 
I've been getting to the money, okay? A gift of money is on its way to you. Your income is increasing, pound number two. Manage your finances with love, okay? That is a message for you, all right? And we have healer here. So pound number two, you're definitely a healer. You have powerful healing gifts, okay? So spirit is saying stay true to your path as a healer, whether this is you inspiring people through words, speaking, singing, however it is that you heal people. You could be a doctor, a therapist, a nurse, a counselor. I mean, what makes you sexy is you are a good listener, so right? Um, a lot of people feel like there's a lot of prosperity that surrounds you and coming towards you. So this is something that makes you sexy. It's giving Taurus, Libra, okay? Very prosperous here. A gift of money is on its way to you. Your finances is, in, is increasing, pound number two, okay? I also feel like what makes you sexy is you're not about to carry nobody else's responsibilities, okay? If it don't involve you, you're not carrying it at all. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some of you could have been on a choir or on, on or on some type of team in the past here, pound number two. Women's choir? Yeah. Children's choir? <laughs> if you can go back that far. We have Gemini, Leo. Yeah, a lot of people have, people feel like you are their soulmate with the lovers here. I feel like this group here, you're definitely a lover and not a fighter here. Some of you may drive a red car. I did get the vision of a red car. Also a white car and a black car. So yeah, this person may drive this car that's finding you sexy or this is what's making you sexy. Your car that you drive. Mm -hmm. I'm also seeing uh, ginger hair. Whether it's natural or unnatural. So yeah, pet number two, that's your reading and what's making you sexy. Leave a comment down below if it resonated. Thank you very much for tuning in and tapping into this reading. All right, y'all stay blessed and not stressed. Pound number three, welcome to your reading. This is what's making you sexy. Okay, give this video a lovely like and subscribe. Okay, and leave a comment down below if it resonates. So what's making you sexy, pound number three? I'm just going to jump right into it. Wow. Girl. Whoever you are, pound number three, I feel like people just want to jump right in. Like, they don't be thinking sometimes. They just want to just dive in, baby. It says spread your wings. Like, I feel like people just want to dive in, spread your legs wide open. It's just giving a lot. Okay, pound number three? Um, Yeah, people just don't want to hold back with you. They feel like they just need to take that chance, that risk with you, pound number three. Um, You may have A in your name. Ariel, Ari. Your name may start with an A. You may have the letter A in your name, okay? Yeah, we said let yourself receive. People just want to give to you, pound number three. Mm. Receive, giving and receiving. You may like to receive here, though, okay? Achieving clarity in your relationships. I feel like pound number three, what makes you sexy is you like balance in your partnerships, in your relationships. You like clarity, too. I feel like you give people closure, too. This is something that makes you sexy, too. I feel like people want to play in your hair. Something about your hair texture that people find to be sexy. Okay. We have patience. Ooh, your patience is sexy. Okay. How you nurture yourself. You may have dreadlocks. So your locks are sexy. Your braids. Some of you have braids. Some of you have long hair. You used to have long hair, don't have to be, or healthy hair. Ooh, we got the Knight of Cups here. There's definitely people that have romantic feelings towards you. There could be people from different states, towns, cities, romance. Like, just, yeah, they really in their feelings about you, pound number three. Mm-hmm. Okay, I feel like they want to communicate. They want to take the lead. Oh, girl. Like I said, this group here, yeah. This group is sexy. We have the flow here. I feel like the way you move through life, but I also feel like you got that wet. Two, two, two. That flow. You know what I'm saying? Look at them dripping. I feel like they just want to dive right into you, just like that, pound number three. Stop playing. That's crazy. Okay, we have dance here. So you may be a dancer, or people just love the way that you dance, pound number three. Dance with the rhythm of life. Manifest your dreams through dance. Move your body to dance. People want you to dance for them, girl. They said dance for me. Will you dance for me? Y'all might um, might have like 
You may have your fingernails painted. You may like white nail polish. Some of you here, you're really beautiful, okay? People also find it sexy how you just go with the flow, okay? You really just, you don't force anything. Like, that's so sexy. That's so sexy not forcing anything. Hmm. You could have been, um, um, you could have been a section leader. We have dance lead here. So maybe you lead a dance group or... You just stand out when you dance, shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm picking up October, July. Yeah, people just find it sexy. How, oh shit, how you're open. You're just very open here. But you're also in your power. So this is what's sexy. Some of you have a spiritual calling or some of you here just a leader. Yeah, because we have leader here. Some of you, oh, yes, you have natural leadership qualities that make you sexy. <gasps> I feel like you come with a plan, baby. Mm-hmm. Period. This could be a masculine watching, too. So, hey, this could be, you know what I mean? We have the sun card. This does give me some masculine energy here. Yeah, we got masculine and feminine, yin and yang. <gasps> I feel like this group here, you're balanced masculine and feminine. So, this also makes you sexy. So we have two, two, two. Okay, 22, 23. Masculine and feminine. Okay, yin and yang. Yeah. Wow, light and dark. So I feel like this group here, you also understand the law of polarity. You understand that there can be no light without the dark. Okay, wow. And look at my shirt. Black and white, light and dark, right? Yeah. What is making pound number three here, sexy spirit? Your boobs. Ooh, girl. Yes, look at the star here. Your, ooh, your body, your boobs, your whole body, girl, or boy, whoever this is, your chest. People just want to feel you. People want to, ooh, you could definitely be a dancer here. People want to see you dance with the star card. You could be a stripper. You may have used to be a stripper. You may even have an OnlyFans. Girl, people see you as a porn star, body like a porn star. I'm telling you, look at them diving right into you, girl. They want to dive in, okay? I feel like you got a body like a porn star here, girl. Go ahead and dance for them. Show them what you made up. Oh, yes. There are people obsessed with you in a ugh, lustful way here, pound number three. Let me tell you, very, very lustful, obsessed, possessive, okay? They could be an Aries Capricorn. You could be an Aries Capricorn. We have Aquarius. Okay. Yeah. Tonight I want to dance for you. That's how they want. They want you to dance for them, baby. Put your body on a body. Okay. I feel like y'all could be on um, social media. Shh. Woo, girl. You may be taking pictures of your body. I really feel like you have people coming to your body. Like... That haven't even met you. So I don't know what you're doing here, pound number three. Um, we got the six of swords. They just fantasize about you. You're moving into calmer waters. I feel like pound number three. Check out pound number one. I really feel like you set your own course. So you're doing what's best for you. It really does look like a porn star, though. With the star hair, body like a porn. Um, we have the three of pentacles. Yeah, people definitely want to collaborate with you, three of pentacles. They want to work together with you. We got the six of wands. Y'all getting recognition, okay? This is what makes you sexy. So you may be an influencer. Shit, yeah. Take it how it resonates. Leave what doesn't, okay? Thank you very much, pound number three. Let's move on to pound number four. Y'all was sexy, pound number three. Y'all was my favorite. My favorite group. Y'all was nasty, nasty. Y'all some freaks. That's what it is. Pound number four. This is your reading and what's making you sexy, Give this video a subscribe. Let's get into it, okay? I don't want to take up too much of your time. Big sexy, okay? So what's going on? We got clairvoyance. Ooh. I feel like this group here, you have a powerful sense of discernment. But I also feel like your third eye is open, okay? You're very intuitive. Ooh, we have break free. I feel like this group here, you have broken free from a lot of shit that was supposed to tear you down or keep you stuck here. And this was making you sexy. You're also willing to try different things and experiences as a way to grow and learn. Pound number four. Check out pound number one. They definitely got teaching and learning. So I really feel like you like to try different things 
taste different things, travel different places. This will make you sexy, okay? We also have making time for meditation and prayer. So, y'all definitely do that. Y'all definitely make time for meditation and prayer. We have the angel of strength here. I feel like a lot of you here, you definitely have a lot of strength. All right. I am so sorry, Pineapple, for I am back. All right. Thank you for your patience. I feel like you are somebody that is really patient as well, okay? And I also feel like you just also help people feel more confident about themselves because you're very confident. So I feel like you uplift people. There's a sense of empowerment with you, pound number four. I feel like for some of you here, you're definitely fighters. Okay, you're definitely fighters here. Some of you could have been into marsh, um, wrestling, boxing. Some of you, it will not resonate to all of you, but I am picking that up. Or someone around you is. One second, one second, one second. All right, pound number four. Thank you for your, um, yeah, we have hope too, okay? So I also feel like you remain hopeful no matter what. So this also what makes you sexy. You stay positive through all the obstacles and all of that, you know what I'm saying? And I also feel like you are somebody that looks up to the light, okay? We have listen here. I feel like this group here, you have good music. I feel like people love to listen to your music. I also feel like you're very just in tune with everything around you. You're clairaudient. This group here is, is clairaudient and clairvoyant. So you're able to pick up guidance from other people. And you're also able to see through the eye of love. You see through the eye of love. That's it. Okay? Feeling alone. Mm. You be 25. 52. Wow, this is really old for some of you. Uh, I'm so sorry. Maybe you are an old soul. I did not mean to call y'all old. Sorry, followers out there, subscribers. Um, but yeah, y'all older, but y'all look good for y'all age. That's what it is. Okay, y'all young and youthful. All right. I also feel like here y'all overcome a lot of different things, a, a lot of different trials. And yeah, okay. So you have the tower. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You've overcome a lot. I feel like this group here, you've had a lot of tower moments, revelations. And yeah, that just has changed your life. Okay, you've had a lot of drastic changes that have happened in your life. Um, I feel like you've broken free from a lot of things that was supposed to break you here, pal number four. With the Knight of Coins here, this is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Energy, Aries, Scorpio. And yeah, Sagittarius. So... A lot of you here, you've broken free from a lot of things that was supposed to break you, okay? Um, some of you may be feeling alone at this time. Or what makes you sexy is you would rather be alone than deal with somebody that doesn't value you. Because we have door to value here. So what makes you sexy is you rather be alone than deal with somebody that doesn't value you. We have May, February, April. Um, yep, and February again. So, yeah, you really looked at as someone who's really strong and courageous, okay? And I also feel like you are a listening ear, yeah, for people. Anything else? What's making pound number four sexy? I feel like there's more. There were, like, no body features here. Pound number three was, like, wow. Okay, so we have journey here. Yeah, you're just on this journey. You're on a journey to self exploration we have 222 two, two. balance and harmony being restored in your life at this time you could be 22 25 wow anything else for pound number 4 i just you know well pound number 1 got goddess of the moon so did pound number 2 so i definitely feel like y'all still all watching hey pound number 4 check out pound number 1 and 2 they got moon cycles and goddess of the moon so there could be messages in there for you, pound number four. And I think you should go check it out. Check it out, okay? Also, leave a comment down below if anything in this reading resonated. Subscribe, okay, pound number four. What is making my pound number four here sexy spirit? Girl, people want to throw money on you. 
flat out. People want to throw money on you. People want to celebrate you. We got the sun card here. Pound number three got this too. Very fun. Very warm to be around. Okay, we got some partiers coming out here too. So you may like to party. You may like to have a good time. People might see you as anxious though. People might feel like you suffer from anxiety or something. Take it how it resonates. All right, it's a reading. You could be a Taurus or a Taurus. People feel anxious around you sometimes. Girl, take it how it resonates. Oh my God. Taurus, you make somebody anxious. Oh well. We got the Three of Cups. Like I said, people want to celebrate you though. People feel like it's always a good time around you. Um, the boundaries that you set. Okay, you protect your kids too. Your baby, if you have a baby. Or fur baby. Whatever. All right. I do see that some of you may live in a brick home or building. What is making my pound number here? Sex is spirit. Ooh, some of you could have been in karate or... I am seeing karate. I got the vision of somebody being in karate, but I also got the vision of somebody being in like gymnastics too. So some of you, we got karate, we got gymnastics. Oh, she's all right. What else do we have here? What is that? Some of you are light workers, though. I will say that. So you're definitely here to, you know, uplift people in a positive way, put out positive energy with this sun card here. I was not expecting that. Um, I did get hockey. So maybe somebody here was also in hockey, too. So yeah, take a resonance if it doesn't, leave a comment down below. Thank you very much for watching.